Yep. Yes. Very awesome. So I'm in uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. Um, and I emailed you, I think, earlier in the week and says, are you aware of any case law supporting no need for Miranda if an interview is via telephone? So it would help me support my understanding of Miranda to explain to my supervisor. My understanding of Miranda is the suspect has to be in custody or believe they're in custody. I was challenged by someone who has more stripes than me about this in reference to question a suspect about a crime over the phone. I was told a suspect statement, state, the suspect statement would be tossed because I did not advise Miranda All right. and I disagree. Yeah. Okay. So uh, real quick, um, what was the, what, first of all, just so we know that the person was not in, the person was not in jail, right? They're at their house or were they in their car or whatever it was, yes, right? Yes, hey, sir, hotel room. Okay. Hey, Rick, um, if you have a second, do you know where my, can you grab my computer real quick? It's, it's downstairs. All right. So, uh, let, why I, I actually have some case law on this issue. Hopefully I'm going to find it in time. Brooks, um, if you stick with us, right. While we answer your question and we maybe might move on to some other questions, I think I can actually pull up a case for you, but I want to let my friend Mike start this, uh, answer. What do you think about that, Mike? And, you know, let's talk about, you know, uh, a little bit about why Miranda mm -hmm. and when Miranda. Yeah. Okay. Well, Miranda was kind of you know, Ernesto, right? Ernesto, Ernesto Miranda, yep. yeah, uh, down in uh, down in Arizona. There, it it was kind of developed to prevent us, the cops, were kind of creating a, uh, a a coercive environment, and you know, an environment where we might be so overbearing on a person that they feel like they might have to confess. Look, and I and I got to tell you, okay, I think that um, that I think that. By the way, Gerald says that I'm the alpha twin because I'm like he thinks I'm like I'm bossing you around. <laughs> Um, we actually were twins and we're identical twins. And so we're very close. Um, but anyway, I digress. So um, the thing is, can I just say something to you? Yeah. I think that you are naturally coercive. And I mean that. I think that as a police officer, I think that if you came to my home, I think that if you if you stopped me for a, a traffic violation, and I'm talking about, this is Anthony, the lawyer here, law mm -hmm. enforcement attorney, and I'm very comfortable around police officers. Yeah. They don't scare me like some people say, right? However, I got to tell you, you are natural coercive. Well, you have I mean, the badge the and the badge, gun. The gun, the yeah. uniform, that's the right. car, and the whole, can, everything. Yeah. And if I don't, if I mess up and I am, you know, I can go to prison for, you know, and also I don't know all the laws, right? Maybe I am violating the law and I don't want you, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that, I think that Miranda, I don't agree with Miranda completely. I don't think that we need to read people their rights like that, uh, but that's not my, I'm not a Supreme Court justice. But there's something to be said about that. So continue, mm -hmm. continue on. Well, it's funny, you kind of bring up a point about being, you know, it is coercive. Maybe there's some nervousness that comes with that. I worked, yeah. uh, I worked undercover for a long time. I drove a minivan around for a long time, and yep. uh, a lot Probably of with a mullet. A lot, yeah, a lot of surveillance uh, ops where I would get pulled over by people I work with, but I would still be kind of nervous. Oh, that's so funny. Up, I'm at work in my work car doing surveillance, but there's still a little bit of that. Uh, yeah, like I said, that coercive environment. So that's kind of where that's awesome. uh, the birth of Miranda came from is we wanted they wanted to take away that, well, naturally mm -hmm. coercive environment. But sometimes, uh, you know, we used to bring out the phone book and, uh, you know, maybe, well, that's, you know, be yeah, a little, be, even an even yeah. more accelerated environment to get people to. Confess. That's right. And if, and if you don't know what the phone book means, for those cops that are a little newer to the yeah, profession. What, should we cover what a phone book is? Yeah, actually, that's, <laughs> there, that's are, you there are some young officers out there. Believe it or not, there used to be a book show up on your porch once in a while that had everybody's phone number in it. It was crazy. <laughs> so if the phone book method was basically hitting people with phone books and it would disperse the, the injury so that you wouldn't leave marks, right? <laughs> right. Um, but that's the, the reality is that even if you're not using the phone book, it's a natural course environment. So mm -hmm. that's why, Miranda, mm -hmm. we want to level the playing field. Right. right. Tell me when, Miranda. So when, Miranda, and this is something that uh, I was – taught and there's there's a lot more that comes to it than i think originally known so there's three components that come with it here uh the the biggest is the custodial aspect mm -hmm. the uh and what we talk about here is arrest like custody it's not just that oh are they free to go or not and that's something that when we teach miranda it's something that we really key on mm -hmm. it is arrest like custody so that's Prong number one. Uh, second is going to be that uh, that kind of that immediate uh, interrogation. We're going to ask them some questions designed to elicit an incriminating response, mm -hmm. uh, testimonial type evidence that can be used against them. And third, which a lot of uh, you all might not know, is known officer. You got to know they're talking to a cop. And actually, that's funny to talk about that because, mm -hmm. well, in, I mean, in your situation, when you were undercover, you were not they were not in custody. But not, you were not. a cop, mm -hmm. but they didn't know you were a cop. Correct. Now, move that person into a jail. They got arrested, mm -hmm. let's say for murder, okay? And there was like, I want an attorney. They clam up. 
Could you send in, and, and Brooks, we're going to get to your question here, but I just want to establish the foundation because the show is a podcast. Mm -hmm. We're trying to educate our cops mm -hmm. about what the law is. If you had a guy who committed, who allegedly committed murder and he wants an attorney, you, he, he's booked into jail. Could you send an undercover cop as a jail cellmate to try to say, hey, what are you in for? Well, then you're missing that known officer, officer component thing. of that, right? And you guys, <laughs> the reason why that works in most states. Most, yeah, there's, yeah. Um, there are some exceptions. But the reason why the Supreme Court has not prohibited that is because there is no natural coerciveness. Mm -hmm. And understand to know, in other, in other words, to know why that is, you have to know why Miranda. Miranda is trying to level the playing field of little old me versus big bad you with the government behind you. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Now. Let's get to the question at hand. Um, Brooks says that, you know, his he, he has a somebody who's saying that we need Miranda for a phone interview. And I like the question that you asked, Brooks. Where is he? You know, is he is, you know, at jail or whatever it could be. But as far as we know, he's at home, right, Brooks? Or wherever he hangs out. I don't know if I'm still recording, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um not arrest like custody. So that's mm -hmm. that's the that's the problem there, Brooks. Does he know you're a police officer? Yes. Are you asking incriminating? Are you asking incriminating questions? Yeah, a hundred percent. Did mm -hmm. you commit this crime? Let's just give it give us, uh, you know, that that as a given. Mm -hmm. Is he in arrest like custody as he's on the phone with you? No. Um, I got to tell you that I actually think that here's the case right here. I actually think it's very silly. Okay, to read a person, Miranda. Yeah, now he's all concerned about his his loose finger. Brooks, I got to tell you, okay, I I laugh, I actually laugh at cops who read Miranda over the phone to a person who is at home. It's so silly because they're not. It's the opposite of Miranda custody, and I think that's where you're going. Now, if they're in jail, that might be a different story, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So, I won't, Gerald. <laughs> All right. So here is your case. Um, it's not South Carolina, but you don't need South Carolina. It's a it's a case based on the Fifth Amendment, which is South Carolina. OK. A, a, a detective. I might want to mute that, Rick, um, while we're into some feedback. A detective called the defendant and asked him whether he was involved in auto burglary. The defendant made several incriminating statements that were used against him. It's it's a phone case, right? Miranda was not in custody. Here's what the court said. Now it's it's uh, I'm sorry, M Mahoney was not in custody. Mr. Mahoney spoke with the detective on the telephone, not at a police headquarters. He was not in custody, nor was he in a situ situation inherently coercive. He could have simply hung up and terminated the conversation. Miranda doesn't apply. State versus Mahoney, 80, Washington Appeals Court, 495-1996, okay? So Washington versus Mahoney, M-A-H-O-N-E-Y. Citation is 80, Wash App, that's Washington Appeals Court, page 495-1996. There's a great case. And let me tell you something, Brooks. If Washington State says we don't have a problem... <laughs> Then Man. South Carolina doesn't definitely doesn't have a problem because mm -hmm. they're the most restrictive state in the union. Is that okay? Back to uh, mm -hmm. turn your mic back on, Rick um, Brooks. Does that answer your question fully? I think we have a way to put that on there somehow, Vincent. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. This this will also be posted. To, this is posted to YouTube too. So look, we're not look. I got to tell you something. This is not about making anybody wrong. This is not about hey, I'm the smartest guy in the room. This is about <laughs> education. I, Brooks, I just want to let you know, like I was a three striper before. Okay. I was a sergeant. I have made so many mistakes. Right. But that's why we're here. We're all here to learn. So it comes from nothing but love. But in this situation, the answer is very straight, straightforward. Um, no, uh, no, no Miranda is necessary, nor should it be read in my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. There's no on, reason for it. Up on you. They'll climb up on you. They'll say, you know what? Actually, since you said that, I don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Why would you even introduce that variable? All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it.